Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel and this updated French woman style lookbook for spring summer 2021. In this video, I'll be sharing all the key pieces I have on my rail for when I want to look a little bit more Parisian. From casual, everyday, yet elegant outfit ideas to understated and effortless outfits for the evening. The tips and tricks I've added in the last year that really helped me recreate that French woman style and the brands I'd recommend that can help along the way. Essentially, this lookbook should arm you with everything you need to know to add a little Parisian style to your outfit ideas. If you like this video, it would be lovely if you'd like to subscribe if you're not already. And don't forget, at the end of this video, tap show more in the description box. That will just give you a link to all my other social channels for my daily style pictures, plus all the links to all the different outfits I'm going to share with you today. Okay, lots of inspiration coming your way, so let's get straight to it. There's something so decidedly French about a tea dress. The trend actually began both in England and France back in the 1870s. And though it's had its dips of interest over the years, it's definitely back with a passion for spring summer 21. Once saved for afternoon tea, these days we often see them styled with trainers in a much less formal fashion. But I personally don't think they've ever lost that elegant shine, however which way you style it. In today's lookbook, I've borrowed a few handbags from one of my favorite brands, Palen Paris. So here you can see I've styled my tea dress with the numero un nano, which is featured in chalk. This dress is actually from a collaboration Marks and Spencer did with iconic British brand Ghost. At the time of filming this video, they were completely sold out, but I'm hoping they've stocked up again by now, as I think it's a typical French woman chic style dress, and I'd really, really recommend it. We've seen the majority of the high street doing some sort of interpretation of the tea dress recently. For a Parisian style vibe, I would say opt for a floral print, something like this other dress I'm wearing. I'm personally having a bit of a moment with pastel blue this spring summer, but I'd say pretty much any shade would work just as well. Since filming my original how to dress like a French woman video, I've definitely learned a few extra tips and tricks along the way. One really helpful tip I've learned is to try and remember the 50-50 balance. For example, if you've got something incredibly chic and elaborate on your top half, make sure the bottom half is very low key and pared back. Here, for example, I'm wearing a beautiful but quite a statement blouse. So I've dressed it down with my loose fitting jeans, a pair of sandals, and added a touch of laid back tan details. Keeping my accessories minimal really gives it that effortlessly chic balance that French women do so well. Another example would be this outfit idea. I'm wearing one beautiful silk skirt and delicate Napa leather strap heels. Though neutral, they're both luxurious. And so to balance it out, I went for very simple styling on my top half with this pastel blue jumper. It's a gentle tone and obviously it's very relaxed so it makes the contrast feel right. When you have a few favorite pieces in your wardrobe, it's tempting, I know, to want to add them all at the same time. But if you're particularly wanting to channel that Parisian style and French woman spirit, trying to remember that 50-50 balance will really help with the overall look. When it comes to your hair, yet again, French women seem to much prefer it on the undone end of the scale. A bit like your makeup, try to get your hair to look like you just woke up like that. Easier said than done, I know. I haven't quite perfected that look myself yet. The only time mine works well like this is if I've curled it the day before, slept on it, and then run my fingers through it the next morning rather than brushing. That kind of creates the look that I want, but in all honesty, I don't think it's quite there just yet. I do just quickly want to say, although this is a French woman style lookbook, I am obviously having to generalize. Of course, there are all sorts of variations of styles worn in France, but probably too many for me to mention in just one 10 minute video. So I'm sticking with those foolproof, timeless pieces I have on my own rail that really help me recreate a Parisian style outfit idea. Which brings me to the blazer, the classic essential that French women always seem to have in their own wardrobes. This is one area I'm always happy to invest to get the fabric and fit just right. And although I say invest, that doesn't have to mean breaking the bank. There are lots of high street brands making really high quality interpretations, which I shall link in the description box below. Arquette, Cos and other stories, H&M Premium, all have sustainable options right now in some really lovely cuts. So if a designer option is out of budget, 
there's definitely something for everyone. However much you end up spending on your investment pieces, I would suggest playing it safe and going with a neutral tone. Navy, black, beige and camel even always seem to be on trend with French women. I find I reach for these tones more on a day-to-day -day basis and I don't mind spending a bit more if I know they're going to work for me in say five years time. So I use this tip when it comes to all my investment pieces. You'll notice my outerwear is often minimal and neutral. When I spend more on a dress, it's often following that calm, neutral color palette. Treating myself to a pure silk piece will always be in a neutral shade, or a beautifully chic pair of tailored trousers will have a certain timeless elegance to it that you just know will last. And in turn, that will give off that effortlessly chic Parisian vibe we all know and love. On that note, it's worth mentioning the flip side, saving your pennies on the fashion trends. Certainly the ones you know are going to be a bit of a flash in the pan. Though I personally love the sorbet trend, and I've seen some great lemon and pink blazers recently, they're not going to last long in your capsule wardrobe, so that's definitely somewhere I'd save rather than splurge. If you've got the budget, then hey, spend away and enjoy, and just invite me along with you to come shopping. But for the rest of us mere mortals, this is how I shop for my own capsule wardrobe. When it comes to how to dress Parisian style and wanting to recreate that French woman chic, probably my number one essential would be investing in the perfect Breton top. Sometimes I switch out the heavier versions for the lightweight ones in spring summer, but there's always a stripe or two to be found in my wardrobe each season. This is actually a new color I just got in. I love the blue and accru version so much, I decided I'd probably wear the red and white one an awful lot too. The buttons are a really cute addition that makes this version feel just that little bit extra special. And having been made from 100% organic cotton, it's not only sustainable, but feels lovely too. I also like styling mine in quite a dress down fashion, with jeans and maybe a trench or blazer layered over the top. Keep it simple, keep it classy, and it's actually quite hard to get this one wrong. French women are quietly confident about showing their legs. So if you're wanting to embrace a bit of Parisian style, don't be afraid to bear a little flesh. Now I'm not talking anything too obvious at all because that would be the exact opposite of how I see typical French style. But a well-placed split can go a long way to adding that certain je ne sais quoi an outfit needs. And if it was between cleavage and legs, I'd say flash your pins every time. Essentially, anything too overtly sexy won't look natural, and looking natural is what I believe are one of the fundamentals of French women's style. You want to look like you rolled out of bed and threw on that dress, added a smudge of lipstick and skipped out the door. Anything too contrived, like a push-up bra with eye-popping cleavage, will look forced, and anything too forced isn't exactly effortless. I actually read an interesting article recently with the Parisian brand Suzanne founder. She pointed out that French women actually work very hard to not look like they've tried at all. They have the same insecurities as all of us, they just hide it well. So if you're not feeling particularly effortless just yet, but you've followed these tips and ideas, don't worry. You've got all the right ingredients in place, that confidence will come, and it will just be the icing on the cake when it does. Trying to emulate that chic French style, there's one item that I've noticed they all seem to have aside from a wicker basket, and that would be neutral handbags. Like I mentioned earlier, a beautiful handbag would always be on my investment list, and I'd say 99.9% .9 of the time I'll opt for a neutral tone. It's elegant, timeless, and classy. Plus, choose the style wisely, and no doubt you'll use it on rotation for life. That's probably why I'm such a fan of Pelem Paris. I seem to use their handbags on a weekly, if not daily basis. And that's because all the tones are neutral and blend together so well. From their deep camel to light talk, beige, grays, and chalk, in my humble opinion, they have the perfect color palette for their collection. They're even more beautiful in real life than they look in any video or pictures. The quality just far exceeds the cost per piece. probably twigged by now that the running theme to this video, recreating beautiful Parisian style, is all about being natural. And that doesn't just mean with your outfit, but your makeup too. Karine Reutfeld rocks the look perfectly. There's a just got out of bed smudge sexiness to her makeup. 
that somehow never manages to look overdone. Or look at one of my other French style icons, Jeanne Damas, known for her dab of rouge, but notice how the rest of her makeup is really pared back. I wear pretty natural makeup on a day-to-day -day basis anyhow, but I do tend to follow an either-or approach. For example, if I'm going with a bit of a smoky eye, I'll never add anything too bright on my lips. In fact, I prefer just to wear a clear gloss. And vice versa, if I'm going for a glowing, natural, barely there makeup, I'll add a statement red lip for a pop of colour. Again, it's coming back to feeling effortless and natural, even with a little bit of rouge. French women know all too well the safest way to look chic every day is in truly walkable heels. Block heels seem to be particularly on trend at the minute and I've seen some great interpretations across the high street. I like these, these, and I thought these were a really great pair as well. Sandals are strappy but practical, i.e. you should be able to wear them all day with ease. Another nice alternative would be the belly flat or a nice pair of loafers, which I would say is a bit of a staple for me in my own capsule wardrobe. I especially like the versions with patent toes. It helps to keep them looking fresh and of course there's an added Parisian style to them as well. Don't get me wrong, if you can strut with style in your six inch heels all day long, then go ahead. But when it's not feeling effortless, chances are it won't look it either. Another classic essential I would highly recommend you have on your rail would be a classic crisp shirt. The obvious would be to go for white, but if you're happy to invest, I like having a beige, taupe, and pastel blue version as well. These are really the core staples I reach for, sometimes on a daily basis, but at the very least weekly. Two of my favorite brands for affordable yet really nice quality crisp shirts would be Everlane and Arquette. This Arquette one, for example, has been made from organic cotton. I really love their versions. They just have the right amount of crispness and oversized shape to help it feel relaxed. And whatever organic cotton they're using, it's absolutely lovely. The quality to price ratio is really hard to beat. But for today, thinking of effortlessly chic French style, I'd highly recommend you have at least one on your rail. The art of accentuating your body shape subtly can take a while to get right. But once you've got the hang of it, it can make the world of difference to your overall outfit ideas. Note the key word there, subtlety. Anything too forced and you'll have a hard job making it feel effortless. Add a belt to define your waist, but don't pull it into within an inch of its life. With this lovely black midi dress, for example, I've just added a little bit of ribbon to my waistband. I like the fact it's got a tiny bit of white in there, just adding a bit more detail, and it helps to cinch my waist in in a really subtle fashion. Nothing should feel too staged, so try and do this as naturally as possible, and your outfit will thank you for it later. Where do I start with this one? I have got so many favorite French brands I would recommend. But let me start this by saying, of course I love Celine, Dior, Givenchy, Isabel Morant, but I really want to share with you some of those everyday brands that I shop with. Some you'll know well, and some others are a little bit more under the radar, but they're all absolutely worth a mention. The Zan, of course, would top this list. I adore this Parisian brand, and would wear just about every piece they create. No surprises here, but the other French brand topping my list would of course be Palem Paris. I feel very fortunate to have a lovely selection of their handbags, and they get an awful lot of use in my day-to-day -day outfits. I also love Sandro, Mage Paris, Sassoon, Musier, La Redoute for a super affordable collection, Rouge, APC, Zadig and Voltaire, Claudie Pirlo, Realization Par, Maison Le Biche. Giacomus is a little bit more of an investment, but not crazy prices, and they do have some really stunning pieces in for spring summer 2021. And the Couples, of course, who always have the best selection of blazers. I could go on and on with all my favorite French brands, perhaps an idea for another video. But there's a good list there to get you started with your Parisian vibe. I've said it before, but French women are never too fussed about trends. They'd much rather choose something that's flattering for their body shape and something that really suits them instead. So when it comes to denim, we see a whole collection of different styles. I would say perhaps I tend to see straight leg crops in a nice blue wash more than most of late. Styled again with a nice block heel sandal, but again, I would only opt for that style if it really suits your shape. I'm a huge fan of denim jeans and I've probably got at least one of each style in my wardrobe, except for mom jeans that is. They look absolutely awful on me. So don't worry if your jeans are on trend or not. Go for comfort and what 
what really flatters your shape. That will make you feel confident and in turn have all that natural style shining through. Accessories in general can add that perfect finishing touch to your outfit ideas but be careful not to add too many. And certainly when you're channeling your inner French woman chic. I got this lovely pair of vintage YSL sunglasses in recently from Farfetch, and I've been integrating these into so many different outfit ideas. I'm always checking really to see if my outfit ideas feel balanced and chic. I really don't like feeling too overdone. I really hope you found this how to dress Parisian style video helpful and that you've gleaned a few tips and tricks along the way to recreate your own French women chic outfits yourself. I'd love to hear your favorite outfits I featured today. And don't forget to subscribe and follow the links in the description box below to find my daily outfit ideas over on Instagram. I shall see you next Sunday with lots more outfit ideas and styling advice. So hopefully you will join me then. Take care.